been a few days I lost the footage of I have some pictures but I changed the rear end in this truck I pulled out the old one and I have an open drive shaft that the best I can tell is a Nissan rear end out of a Nissan pickup I believe and those come with a six lug 515 bolt pattern. So my rim fit right on there. So now I got all the mechanical brake stuff loose. That's part of it. And I pulled the tire up. I'm going to finish taking the mechanical backing plates and stuff off I have 32 Chevrolet backing plates so it'll have juice brakes on it all the way around and I'm just gonna mount a master cylinder try to mount the pedals in here they were mounted right there on the transmission obviously this transmission in engine is coming out so I might try to get them mounted somewhere on the frame rail here but I like to get them as close to the stock location as I can so yeah I will bring you back when I get this hub and stuff off here and we'll see what the brakes look like All right, welcome back. I got, uh, it's been over the course of a few days here, but I've got the juice brakes put in the front. Had mechanicals on it. Right here is the mechanical brakes for the 30. Right there. Brakes are in good shape. Just wanted to go to a juice brake. So what I think I would do, got to find some parts here. Get some brackets to hold those up out on each side. Uh, just for reference, the 32 brake stuff. Uh, when I purchased the stuff, I purchased the whole axle. It was all together. I just pulled the backing plates off. and It all fits on the 30, so it does interchange. It is interchangeable. On the 30, so I am going to pull this engine out. And transmission out of here is probably going to be the next video. On this, it's just a... It's kind of a cool piece it's just not a it's nothing that is going to be worth a lot of money so that's why I did this the rear end I do believe I changed that I think I already said that is a Nissan 720 rear end the best I can tell I know it's probably taboo to put a Nissan rear end in that. I could just try to find a Dodge D50 rear end. But uh, most of them are all the same. The reason I chose, wanted a rear end out of one of those trucks was because GM is 6x55. Fits right on there. That's exactly what those are, and the rear end is the same width as the rear end I pulled out of here. So it just makes everything way easier. Like I say, it's not a, it's not a high dollar car. 
a high dollar car, truck, whatever. It was a car, it was converted to a truck, so, you know, it's, it is kind of beat up. Fenders are a little, you can see where maybe it got hit. And they pounded them out. I've got to fix the fenders on it though. They're they're set kind of sideways. I don't know if I can I go back and show you here. Yeah, I can't really get but you can see how it's closer here and then it goes up. It the whole the whole thing needs to be turned like that. So the back end back here will be brought down. This will be, you can see where they have a set too low on the bottom there. So with it being set like that, it just doesn't look right. It just doesn't fit on there right. So I will adjust those, but that's going to be later. I want to get, I just want to get the thing running and driving first. So at least moves on its own and it'll stop. Then we'll get things done up. I took the light bar off already. Jack Lee, the Husky. Took the light bar off already. These are the brake rods for the mechanical brakes front and rear. Took all that stuff off. Got all the bolts with them. Gonna keep them together. Never know, somebody may need them somewhere along the line. Might be looking for a set for a 30 Chevrolet. Not a lot of these around, but it's not a real expensive PC. There's not a real desirable vehicle either, so. There's sort of another little walk around of it, so. Hey, if you like what you see, comment, like, subscribe. Tell me if I'm doing something wrong, something you don't like. I don't know. I've got a newer engine out of a 63 Chevy 2. Going to go in there right there, straight six. And a five-speed out of an S10. gonna replace the 194 in it so that'll be the next that'll be the next one so uh, yeah like I say if you like what you see leave a comment tell me I'm doing it wrong you don't like it would have left it alone just drove it so uh, we will catch you on the next one Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Greatly appreciated. Hey, welcome back. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to pull this engine out of here and transmission. So I got to get the radiator out of the way, hood stuff, this bar runs through there. This is a 194 cubic inch. It's got about 35 horsepower. This is not the 194 that you see. It's not a 216. It is a 194. They used them um, up to like 33 or 34 I think you can get them. 32 they changed to a downdraft carburetor. The 29s, 30s had updraft carburetor on them. This motor does run. I do have a video of me starting this motor, and uh, it runs pretty well, but uh, just not uh, just not what I want in there. So I have a six-cylinder out of a 1963 Chevy 2. It's a 163, I believe, or 193, something to that effect. It's about 120 horsepower, so. Should be about 100 horsepower more. This thing ought to scream down the road compared to what it would normally do. So, not going to probably film me pulling everything out and stuff, but I will 
come back show you after I get some progress done um, show you the work and I'll have to make motor mounts and stuff after I get it done these mount in the front and then they mount right back in there you can see so transmissions in these are not very big they're pretty short actually it's just got a little tiny or a little tiny transmission a little three speed they're not very big at all so I have to get my pedals remounted somehow after I get everything going here and hey Snoopy Mr. Jack Lee wants to see inside. So I'll bring you back when I get more done, when I get some done here. All right, you can see. Got the radiator out of the way. Got the motor mount bolts out. Um, I think I need to. Yep, I gotta get the oil pressure gauge. Line off of there. And then I think it's ready to come out. I have the water one already unhooked. That one's unhooked, so we're good to go. I think. I think we got everything. Oh, I have to take the I have to take the shifter off also. So yeah. Got everything ready to go. Boy, let me tell you, that hood weighs a ton by yourself. Hoofta. But I like to get that out. I'll have to put tires back on it to get stuff moved around. I need to get that shoved back in the corner. Maybe you get the other one motor out. It's kind of stuffed in behind us, behind a table. I need to move stuff around. I'm sure my wife would like to park back in the garage, so but uh yeah, I'll bring you back when uh, when I get the thing out. All right, I got the motor out. You can see, I got her shoved up against the wall. I'm done for the day. So the other motor now is back underneath there where I had this motor engine sorry engine so probably when I come back call tonight I got things I got to do so tomorrow I'll probably get the clutch and pilot bearing, transmission, everything put together on that motor there. Starter on it. And get it ready to be blocked up and put on here. So, I don't know. I'm hoping that cross member right there is not going to be in the way. But I don't know. We'll see. Won't know till we get there. Uh, these right here, that's about where the oil pan, the bottom of the block was. So I don't know. We'll see if that goes through there. And this one has the funky oil pan on it. Not like a rear sump. It's got almost like a center sump in it. So. We'll see how that uh, how that works in there. Shouldn't be an issue with that center sump pan. 
because there's really nothing in the way. It's pretty wide open. That right there is my engine puller. So that's what this is. So, yeah, there you go. Got the engine out of it anyway. So I'll bring you back when I get some more done. All right, well, I didn't get much of it filmed or taped, whatever, but I got most of the holes that I needed. Welded up and crowned off. Making progress.